a big pet peeve of mine on social media is when people say they support something and then show that they don't and prove that they don't. Body acceptance, where most of the time it's fat acceptance, which I have no problem with, but they label themselves as being accepting of everyone and then as soon as you see someone that's really skinny they're like, oh well, you know, they need to eat something. Um, people in the bear community talking negatively about the some of the catty, petty culture that you sometimes see from the from a number of queenie twinks, and then they turn around and do exactly the same thing. People who call themselves, how about this one, people who call themselves feminists and get really offended if someone critiques feminism in any way, and then you watch them call women fish. And if there's some Republican that did something, Republican woman that did something they don't like, something that's truly awful, but nevertheless, it's a woman, and they'll sit there and leave the most nasty gendered insults towards that woman as they possibly can. But again, they get really offended if someone says anything negative about feminism. <laughs> People who will say that they're for women's rights and for women to be treated the same as men and then support this notion that this is particularly irritating when it happens in the gay community they support this notion that if you look at someone if let's say you look at a woman's breasts oh that's sexual harassment really you think that's sexual harassment <laughs> really would you say the same thing about if if Let's say you're in the bear community and someone looks at your belly, is that sexual harassment? If someone's looking at your crotch, is that sexual harassment? Well, if you say you believe in, in women being treated the same as men, why would you say that looking at a woman's breasts is sexual harassment? That makes no sense. Um, people who say they're for freedom of speech, oh, freedom of speech as long as it's speech that I like. You know, that sort of thing. It's like, that's not freedom of speech. <laughs> you know? Oh, freedom of speech should only be for those on the left. No, no, that's not freedom of speech. Um, now, you know, in, in on that subject, okay, the right wing hasn't been for censorship for probably about 15 to 20 years. They used to try to make things, they tried to censor speech based on, oh, you're saying something negative about religion. Um, <laughs> that's, that, that stopped about 15 to 20 years ago. That, that's done. It has been the left that has been for censoring speech since then. Um, and you can't even say that it has to do, oh, oh, sex and violence, that's the right's work. Uh, no, not really. I have, I have two words, okay, Tipper Gore. Anyone remember that? Okay. Anyway, um, but these double standards, this hypocrisy coming from people, it's very, very irritating. So if you're going to say you have a, you support something, then support it. You know, if you say you support transgender people, then actually support transgender people. Man, the mosquitoes. Oh, you support transgender people except on the bathroom issue or something like that. Except on the chat bathroom and changing rooms issue. Oh, okay. Now, on the other side of the coin, there are trans people who will act like nobody supports them, even if they support all of the issues that revolve around trans people. They'll try to claim that someone doesn't support trans people if they don't believe in this, I'm sorry, I think it's a ridiculous notion, that biological sex is a social construct. 
Okay, I can understand gender being a social construct, but there are people that are arguing that biological sex is a social construct, and if you don't agree with that, oh, you're, you're transphobic. Excuse me? So, this stuff goes in all directions. But let's knock this hypocrisy off, okay?